So in short, when anyone tells you that corn is only wind pollinated, think again. As gardeners and as beekeepers, we have a moral obligation to spread the fact that corn is pollinated by more than the wind. And if there's any question of my mind what's causing colony collapse disorder, it has got to be the Roundup Ready and genetically modified corn. I'm not saying that there's solid proof, but as a gardener, I have to trust my instinct here. And when I see organic, heirloom, open pollinated corn grown right behind me, and I see the solid mass of bees buzzing on every tassel, I think to myself, this is a concern of mine, and it should be a concern of yours too. Since one third of the food you eat is touched by these beautiful creatures, I would really hope that you would take some time to realize that we need to voice our opinions. And no matter what your opinion is, it has to love the bees first because they're disappearing. And this might be my only, this might only be my first year of beekeeping, but everyone always says that you can get in touch with nature by keeping bees. I'm telling you there's nothing further than the truth. A garden's great, but keeping bees really solidifies everything into a great, just a circle that you can see how everything happens from start to finish. And you can really see the fact that you can put 100% effort into a garden. And if you don't have bees, you'll get 0% back. So I hope you all will spread the news and at least go tell a friend that corn is more than open pollinated or wind pollinated. And we need to just, we really need to uh, educate ourselves before we say stuff because being in school, I can tell you that everything that I've ever heard from anyone about corn, it was wind pollinated. And so if there was that big of an oversight, imagine how many other oversights we're making about the simple thing of pollinating and what bees actually touch. And, and furthermore than that, what actually happens uh, when we have crops that are sprayed with pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, that are genetically modified, that are Roundup ready, I don't care what it is, what your stance is, you have to love the bees. And I'm not even pointing a finger at genetically modified organisms. I'm just pointing a finger at the fact that my, or my garden is completely organic and I see nothing but bees. And I know for a fact that there are more than just bees in just my garden. And when we're surrounded by corn and we're surrounded by wheat and we're surrounded by um, just thousands and thousands and thousands of acres, you really have to look at what those acres are sprayed with and what's growing on them because there are bees on those acres as well, not just ours. So until next episode, this is Emma Gardner reminding you to grow big or go home. I'll talk to you later. Bye.